Hey guys, how are y'all doing today? I got to do some prep work, so I figured I would come live today and show y'all what I'm doing. Just getting everything prepped and ready. I got some custom orders that I need to fill. I have four swags and a reach order. So I'm just gonna go live and start crafting. I have um, a fall order, a fall swag. So I'm gonna use these tan for that. And then I have a few Christmas swag orders. I'm just getting all my pipe cleaners ready to roll. Make some bases for these swags. Put these over here. Kind of show y'all all the materials I use. I got these paint sticks. These are going to be the base of my swag that I use. And I just got these paint sticks from Home Depot. This is not going to cut that open, is it? Oh, let me get my scissors. All right. So I got these paint sticks from Home Depot. You can also get them from Lowe's. But I work right next door. To a Home Depot, so it's just more convenient for me to go there versus Lowe's. These are 21 inch paint sticks, and this is what I use for the base of my swags. I'm making four bases right now. I got some custom orders that I need to fill, so if I have to make one base, might as well. Make them all at the same time. Let me know if y'all have any questions while I'm here. Oh, if you saw my video earlier, I finished the middle of my cross. That's what it's looking like. I did a little video and I'll post that tomorrow on how I finished my cross wreath out. Okay, so we're going to do four bases for some swag got my hot glue ready to roll <clears throat> I'm doing three I have three Christmas custom orders for swag and I have one fall so for the fall one I'm gonna use these tan uh, pipe cleaners and this is a 21 inch paint stick so I'm gonna put this one just right in the middle of my paint stick and give it a few good twists and I do about three inch, three inches apart and give them a nice good twist. Another three inches. And I put on five pipe cleaners for my slags. And then I reinforce them with a little bit of hot glue so I know these pipe cleaners aren't going to go anywhere. There we go. That is what that's looking like. Do I have Grinch? Um, I've made some, yes, but I don't have any available right now. None in my Etsy shop. Alright, I'm just going to add some hot glue right here. in the middle just like that and I'm just going to set that to the side and let it dry I got to do some custom orders today I'm doing one fall and then I have three Christmas orders to fill and these are 21 inch paint sticks that I'm attaching pipe cleaners to. I attach my pipe cleaners about three inches apart from each other. 
and I just give them a few good twists make sure they're on there and then I reinforce it with some hot glue and you can buy these paint sticks at Home Depot or Lowe's and right now I'm just adding some hot glue in the middle just like that Make sure that these pipe cleaners are not going to go anywhere. So that is what that's looking for. Let me know if y'all have any questions. If y'all want to see something while I'm live, let me know. I'm just fulfilling some orders that I have that I need to get done. I have a show this weekend, so that's going to be fun, a fall festival. Make sure I have enough stuff to bring. I need to make some centerpieces for that. I have swag and wreaths, but I need to make some cute Christmas centerpieces. Okay, and we're just hot, adding some hot glue right to those pipe cleaners to make sure but they don't go anywhere. This is my Roby hot glue gun. Um, I love it. It gets super, super hot. Where are you? I am in the Houston area. I have... Um, a hair studio where I sell my reeds out of in Sugarland, Texas. So I'm in that that area. All right, and we are just attaching some pipe cleaners. Oops, that's not really in the middle. Right to these paint sticks, giving them a few good twists. So they stay on. And I'm attaching them about three inches apart from each other. And give them a few good twists and I attach five and then I use deco mesh and ribbon to finish these out. Just hit them with some hot glue. Make sure that they aren't going to go anywhere. And I attach my mesh. And turn that off. There you go. That is what that is looking for. Looking like. <laughs> Alright guys. I'm going to make the fall one with y'all today. Set all of these to the side and let them dry. The Christmas ones, I have to finish my order. <laughs> I need to order some more ribbon. Um, but I can't decide what I want to use for them. So I have my shopping cart full. I just haven't purchased it. I'll clean up this hot glue. I love that Roby um, hot glue gun, but it gets so hot. But the hot glue just starts kind of pouring out. Okay, so this custom order, she wanted some burnt orange. We're going to do this pumpkin and leopard. And this black burlap polka dot. So this is kind of the theme we are going to go for today. Gonna be super cute. Odd, maybe a pumpkin for the centerpiece and a cute little bow. Okay, let me grab some deco mash. Let's see. I'm thinking just nice and neutral. Some burlap. I wonder if I have any small, um, darker orange. <gasps> Ooh, you know what? I do. Let me grab that. This is over here. Oh, I don't 
don't know if I'm going to like that plaid, though, with the polka dots. No, never mind. We're just going to do, I'm going to do burlap in this uh, other color, I think. Yeah. Okay, we're going to do this burlap and this cream color together. And I'm going to attach them right to this paint stick that you just saw me make. And I'm going to need 10 pieces of deco mesh. So I am going to cut these at 20 inches and I'm going to do five of each color. And I love to use this rotary tool. I feel like it's a cleaner cut versus scissors when you're using the deco mesh. And I feel like it doesn't fray as much. Alright, one more. Let's see if I have enough. Oh, perfect. So we'll just take this off. I appreciate it so much when these are taped on instead of stapled. When they staple it, no, decline. That was off. I don't know how to turn that off. I'll figure that out. <laughs> Okay, so we got five of the burlap, and then we're going to do five of this, like, cream gold color, and I'm cutting these at 20 inches. Oh, just a bit. That's three. Let me grab another one of these. Did I have another one? Oh, let's see. Nope. All right, just kidding. We're going to change out the colors. And I'm going to need to add this creamy gold to my list because I like using this one. See, good thing I didn't place that ribbon order yet. Okay, let's do, hold on, let me get another color. Let me get these out of the way. I'm just going to do all burlap. Love the cross with you. Thank you. Yeah, I did a video the other day on how to do the base, and I just finished the center. So I figured I would have it on display. So if any of y'all saw my video, y'all could see what it looks like now. Okay, let me cut five of these. We're just going to do all burlap. If you're just joining in, I am doing a fall swag. It is a custom order. She picked out the ribbon that she wanted, and now I'm just rolling with it. Okay, so we cut out 10 pieces of deco mesh at 20 inches. Where did you purchase the six arm? Um, so these are just 21 inch paint sticks. I got them at Home Depot. You can also buy them at Lowe's. And then I just attached five pipe cleaners to them and reinforced it with some hot glue. Okay, so we are going to attach these to our form using the cruffle method so you're just gonna let that mesh hold on actually let me roll up my sleeves Ugh. okay we are going to let that roll in on itself that mesh just a little bit and then you're gonna pinch the middle and walk your fingers up to the top so it's gonna look like this oh you're so welcome going okay hold on i gotta turn these things off Turn off invites. I didn't even know that this was an option. Decline. Hopefully that won't happen again. Okay, so I'm going to attach these right to my 21-inch paint stick. And I'm going to attach them different directions. So that one's going up and down. This one's going to go side to side. 
but I'm still going to do that same cruffle method and I'm going to do that for all of my deco mesh. I am making a fall swag today. This is a custom order that a client wanted. She picked out some ribbon and now I am just making a little fall swag for her. All right. Yeah, they're just pipe cleaners. Just pipe cleaners. Um, I attached five on a 21 inch paint stick and I gave them a few twists and then reinforced them with some hot glue. And that's, that's that. And then we just are attaching some deco mesh right to it. I like using these. They're affordable. They're lightweight. It kind of keeps my cost down a little bit. Um, which I like because then that means my wreaths can be more affordable. And I am just attaching this deco mesh opposite ways. So if I did side to side, then I'm going to do up and down for the next one. And I'm using the cruffle method. So you're just going to let that mesh roll in on itself, pinch the middle, and walk your fingers up to the top. And then that is what that is going to look like. Yeah, so I posted the video on how I made the base of my cross a couple days ago, and I just had time to finish the center, so I'll post that video tomorrow on how I made um, the center. So go look at my profile, and you will find um, the base of the cross in there. All right, so we are doing that cruffle method, giving a few good rolls. Walk your fingers up. And since I did this first one long ways, I'm going to do this next one sideways. And you just do that for more coverage. It's going to look more full doing that every other, every other, you know, one long, one sideways. And you can use different color deco meshes. Um, I was going to use a cream one, but I ran out of it. So we are just going to do all burlap. But the ribbon that she chose for this is burlap anyways. It has burlap as the background. So it will all go just fine. So I cut off 10 pieces of deco mesh at 21 inches. And I am just attaching them right to this wreath form. And I am attaching them now in opposite directions using the cruffle method. So you're just going to let that deco mesh roll in on itself and then pinch the middle from bottom to top. And you're just going to attach that right into those pipe cleaners and give them a few good twists. And then you're going to want to leave those pipe cleaners long because that's where we're going to attach our ribbon tails. Um, after this and we'll make a cute bow to go on the top all right so you just so this you just let it roll in on itself pinch the middle walk your fingers up to the top and then just attach that right to those pipe cleaners So that is what it's looking like. So you see how full that is doing like two layers and you get that cute little those curls coming up. All right so now we are going to make a cute bow and I'm going to cut off this top section uh, pipe cleaners because that's where I'm going to attach my bow. So I don't need those anymore. So she picked out, she wanted some burnt orange and some polka dot. And then she liked this, um, thanks, this pumpkin ribbon with a little bit of leopard. Not too much, just a pinch. All right, let me get my chaotic wire. <laughs> Don't make fun of it. All right, 
So I'm just going to cut off some floral wire and get that ready for my bow that we're going to make. Um, so I'm doing this is all wired ribbon. And all of this ribbon is from Craft Outlet, except for this. I think this is from the dollar store. Dollar Tree. Okay, so let's get that a little bit more out of the way. So we are going to do this black polka dot ribbon for the base. And since we're just doing a swag and it's a smaller um, wreath, we don't need to do a huge bow. So we're going to do six inch tails. So we're going to pinch off right at six inches on your ribbon. And then we're going to do 10 inch loops. So you're going to find that 10 inch mark on your ruler and just pull it together like this. And then you're going to twist that ribbon so it's facing the right direction. You're going to want to hold it in between your pointer and your thumb. Not too tight, just tight enough that it's not going to go anywhere. So we're going to do two loops per ribbon. And you're just going to set that right in between your thumb and that pointer finger. And you're going to want to make sure that you're twisting that ribbon. These aren't the scissors I like. <laughs> you're going to make sure that you're twisting that ribbon. So the right side is facing the right direction, right? So we will do this burnt orange polka dot next. We're going to pinch off right at six inches and that's going to be our tail and you're going to place that. You're going to move your thumb and you're going to place that right in the middle, okay? And we're going to do two 10 inch loops. So you're going to measure out 10 inches and then just put it together. Oh, thank you so much. Thanks for tuning in. And then we're going to do another 10 inch loop. And just lay it right in your thumb and your pointer and twist that ribbon so it's facing the right direction. And then thank you. Thank you so much, guys. All right. And we're going to do it again. And now we have this pumpkin ribbon. And it has a certain direction, right? The pumpkins only go one way. So you want to keep that in mind while you're making your bow. So pinch right off at the six. Place it right in that hand, mark off 10 inches, and make that loop. And then we're going to do, do it one more time, 10 inches, and then we're going to cut off a 6 inch tail. Okay, and then you are going to want to see how those pumpkins are upside down hey dad <laughs> those pumpkins all you have to do is just take that whole loop and twist it and then your pumpkins are going to be facing the right direction for your bow so i want to make sure that these pumpkins are the center of my bow so i'm just going to kind of fluff this bow out in my hand so everything's looking good all right Okay, so now this was two and a half inch ribbon and everything's wired. Yes, it's attached to um, just a paint stick. It's a 21 inch paint stick that I got from Home Depot. Okay, so now we're going to get our one and a half inch and I'm going to get this burnt orange first and I'm going to shrink the tail by an inch and do a five inch tail and just put that right in the middle of my bow right and then we're going to shrink those tails i mean not the tails the loops to eight inches you're going to pinch right off at the eight inch and then same thing but this is just smaller ribbon but it's the same exact method that we were doing with the big ribbon we're just shrinking it down a little bit and the reason why you want to shrink your ribbon down as you go is because you want to see what's behind it. If you keep on doing the same loops, 
at the same size, you're not going to be able to see your ribbon behind, um, you know, you're not going to be able to see all your pretty loops behind what you're doing. Okay, so same thing. Um, five inch tails. Thanks so much for the rows. And then you are going to pinch right at the eight inches. And we're going to do two eight inch loops again. Just like that. And kind of just manipulate them as you go. And then we're going to do this thing, which is called a racetrack loop. And you are just going to flip your ribbon so it's upside down. And you're going to flip it right over your thumb. Okay? Just like that. Just flip it over your thumb. And that's where we're going to thread our wire through. You can also use pipe cleaner. You don't have to have um, floral wire. You can totally just use pipe cleaner. And then we're going to cut that off at the 5 inch mark. So that's what that is looking like. Thanks everyone for joining in and liking it. I'm loving it. All right. So now we're gonna take this wire, or you can use a pipe cleaner if you don't have wire, it's totally cool. And you're gonna thread it through right where we did that racetrack loop. Okay, you're gonna thread it through, just like that, okay? And then you're going to pull it nice and tight, and then give that a few good twists, okay? Just let it, Spin around and make sure it's really tight because this is what's going to make your bows, your loops, to start pushing up so your bow doesn't sink in. So now we're just going to manipulate where we want all of our loops. So I definitely want this like leopard pumpkins to be the focus point of this ribbon. So I want to make sure that that is showing. <clears throat> And then we're going to dovetail everything, which I feel like this part is always the most time consuming, but it makes everything look super nice and finished. So how you dovetail is you just fold your ribbon in half and cut at an angle, then that's it. That's dovetailing. Super easy. When I first started wreath making, I didn't even know that you were... <laughs> Like, dovetailing was a thing. I also thought it was, people were saying duck, duck telling, and I was like, I don't understand. And then it made sense <laughs> when I figured out it wasn't duck telling, it was dove telling. All right, guys, so we are just going to cut all of these tails, make them look nice and finished. And then we're going to attach them to this wreath form over here, the swag that we're making. I think this is the last one. Okay. Cute. And I'm just going to make sure everything's kind of nice and fluffed out. And then I will show y'all what that's looking like to the camera. Let me hold that wire right here so cute so this is a custom swag order that I'm making my client picked out all the ribbon and we are just rolling with it now so we are going to take that base that I just made out of a paint stick thank you thank you so much and we are just going to attach it right to this top Thank you. Thanks, guys. All right, so we are just threading this right through that deco mesh. And remember that our pumpkins, you want to make sure that your pumpkins are facing the right way. Oh, all right, and you're going to grab that wire. Fix your bow how you want it. And then I just thread this wire through that pipe cleaner that I attached earlier. And I just do that for more stability so I know that bow isn't going to go anywhere. Give it a few good twists. Now, don't pull your bows too tight because if you pull them too tight, they're going to sink into your wreath. 
and you're not going to be able to really see them. So we're just going to cut off the extra um, wire and just tuck that down. And then at the end, I'm going to hit it with some hot glue so that wire won't um, scratch the back of your door. All right, so that's what that's looking like. So now we are going to attach some tails for the bottom. How many pipe cleaners? Um, so five. Here, this is what it looked like before I attached everything. So I just put five um, on, and they're about three inches apart. And that's it. And then you just attach your deco mesh right into those pipe cleaners. Okay. So I ran out of this, but no worries. I have more of that ribbon. Okay, let me cut this open. And um, we're going to make our tails. I just cut a piece of... Um, how many pipe cleaners did I answer that? Five. Five pipe cleaners to a 21 inch paint stick. So this is just cardboard. I cut, cut it out at 12 inches and this is how I make my ribbon tails. So I am going to do um, two of this ribbon because you're not really going to see. So it's like so since this is like facing ribbon, it's only going to be able to be shown one way, which is horizontal. So I'm only going to do two. And you'll see like in the end why I only do two. So you just wrap it around that cardboard, fold it in half, and dovetail it just like that. Super easy. How do you hang it? Um, so I just thread some ribbon through that pipe cleaner. I'll show y'all. Through that pipe cleaner and then that's how you attach it to your wreath form or to your door hanger. Okay, I'm going to do four of these. Cut that off. And you just thread your scissors right through where that loop is that and fold them in half. Thanks so much for all the likes, guys. Fold it in half and do your dovetails. Cut at an angle. I highly recommend just cutting some cardboard off. This saves a lot of time when you're making rings. I used to individually measure out each ribbon tail and it took so much time. So same with the black polka dots, I am going to do four of these as well. And just wrap it around that cardboard. And these are 12, 12 inch tails. Wrap it around that cardboard. And then slide your scissors through. Like that. And then fold them over. And cut it an angle to give them that nice finished look. Okay, now we are going to attach these right to this wreath form. So I have four sections, four pipe cleaners. Let me put these on the other side of me. So the first section, I'm just going to do the polka dots because it's right underneath. It's right underneath the bow, so you're really not going to see it. Um, but it just, you know, I like it to look finished. Um, oh, the video's lagging. Sorry, guys. Um, these are 12 inches. These are 12 inches long. So you are just going to pinch them right in the middle and lay them in a cross or an X. Thank you. And then you're going to pinch this and put them right into those pipe cleaners. Those pipe cleaners that are already on here. Okay. And you're going to give it a few good twists. And then we're done with this section. So we are going to cut off the extra pipe cleaner and then tuck them down. 
and kind of fluff our bow right on top. See? Cool. Okay, and we are going to do that with the next section as well. We are going to pinch right in the middle. Um, I, I need to get a YouTube channel, guys. I do not have a YouTube channel. Um, I do do um, little how-to snippets on my TikTok. And sometimes I will upload those to Facebook. I go live on Facebook as well. And I can actually save those videos on the book face. I don't know how to do that on here. I'm new. <laughs> I don't know how to save these live videos to TikTok. Okay, so we are going to do that X pattern. And just attach those right into those pipe cleaners. Give them a good twist. And then we, for this section, we're going to add that pumpkin. And since it only, you know, it goes only horizontal, so that's why we're only going to do it for these two sections because you're not really going to see it in the other sections. It's just going to get hidden. So you just lay that right in the middle of that X and just cut off the rest of those pipe cleaners and then push them down so they're not sticking up. And then fluff out those ribbon tails like that. Aw, oh, thanks so much. Thanks guys, thanks for all the love. I'm so excited that y'all found me. All right, we are just pinching that right in the middle. Yeah, so if you go to my page, um, I actually show y'all how I did the base of that wreath, and I just posted that video a couple days ago, and I just finished it, so part two will be up tomorrow, and I'll show y'all how I put the flowers in the middle of it. So that's why it's hanging behind me, because I just finished, just finished that one. Super cute. All right, so we're just attaching those ribbon tails and cutting off that extra pipe cleaner. Deal. Yes, I do sell them. Um, my Etsy page is linked in my bio. So go look at my page and you will see my Etsy link. Now this one's not for sale. This one is a custom order. Thanks for watching, guys. All right, so we just make those X patterns with the ribbons. <gasps> Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you for the great feedback. All right, and just put those ribbon tails right on. And then we have that one last pumpkin. And just attach those right into that cross that or X pattern that we just made and then fluff out those tails, cut off the extra pipe cleaner. And that is what this is looking like. And then just fluff those tails. So you hide those pipe cleaners. Manipulate how you want the ribbons to look on your wreath. I always like to have that pumpkin showing because that's the focus. Just pull everything how you like it. Now you can leave it like this if you want, but I am going to embellish it with some pumpkins. So that's what it's like going like. So see, it's just your paint stick with the pipe cleaners. And these are cruffles, 20 inch cruffles. And we did 10 of them. And then that is the bow with the ribbon tails. Thank you. Thanks so much for all the likes. Okay, let me grab this pumpkin. Okay, I'm gonna do, let me turn on my hot glue. I'm gonna do this big pumpkin in the middle and I'm gonna do a smaller one on the bottom. 
Um, so I'm going to attach it with a pipe cleaner. And what you do is just, you just fold that pipe cleaner in half. Um, yeah, it's Southern Owls. Southern Owls is my Etsy shop. The link is in my bio. Okay, so all you're going to do to make, I got these pumpkins um, from Hobby Lobby, okay, in the bags. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So you are just going to pierce a hole in it using your needle nose pliers. You're going to add a little bit of hot glue, and then you're just going to pierce that right in. My hot glue is not warmed up, though. But this one I already made, so we're going to attach this one right to the middle. I am making a swag today, a custom order swag. So we are just going to thread this pumpkin right through that deco mesh and right through those ribbon tails. You kind of just move them to the side for right now, and then we can just flop them right back once we're done. Like that. And then, hey, thanks for tuning in. So then we're just gonna thread them right through that existing pipe cleaner, and I do that for stability. And then just give it a few good twists. And then just cut off that extra. And then while my hot glue gun is warming up, I'll show y'all, let me get, I don't know if I have any thin ribbon up here for what I like to do to hang these. Hold on, let me, um, let me get some thin ribbon. Um, give me just a minute. Let me walk over here. Okay, so I just used, I don't even know what this is, like five, five eighths? Is that what this is? Five eighths ribbon. I cut, I don't know, seven inches off. And I'm just going to thread that right through this top pipe cleaner. And I just put a couple knots in it. And then that's how you hang it. That's it. All right, make it nice and tight. And then now that is how it's going to hang on your door. Okay, let's see if this hot glue's ready to roll yet. So we are just going to add a little bit. Yeah, it's perfect. You also want to make sure that your hot glue is not too hot when you're doing these kind of things because this is just foam <laughs> and it will totally melt it. So you just stick that right in there and just let it dry and then we'll attach that to the bottom. Boop. What is the name? So this is a Roby. Whoop. I love this thing. Let's see. Um, uh oh, I lost that one. So this Roby, you can get it at um, Home Depot, Lowe's. We, I got mine off Amazon. I love it. It's cordless. I have this huge battery. It also shows you how much battery is left on it, which I love that feature. It just gets super, super hot, so be careful. Like, super, super hot. Okay, so since the hot glue gun is on, I'm just going to hit that right here with some hot glue so it doesn't scratch the back of your door. And I'm going to hit that wire from our bow with a little bit of hot glue as well while we're waiting for that pumpkin to set. And then we're going to add this pumpkin to the base, the very bottom of our wreath. Let me cut that little wire off right here. Okay. I know, it's so nice. I used to have, well, I still have it because, you know, I'm a hoarder and can't get rid of stuff. I have... I have the old school one still in my craft room also, but this is a game changer. It's so nice too, because if you decorate outside, um, you can attach hot glue to your bricks and um, your decorations will pull right off of it. So that's nice too to have a cordless one. Okay, let's see if this is, yeah. Okay, 
So this is ready to roll. So we are just gonna attach this right to the bottom. We're just gonna move those ribbon tails out of the way and thread it right through that mesh. Like that. I'm just kind of manipulating everything as I go. So everything is nice and placed still. And I'll flip it over and thread those pipe cleaner. This is the pumpkin pipe cleaner right through the bottom pipe cleaner just for some more stability. Give it a few good twists. Whoop. A few good twists and then cut off that extra and push it down and then we're just going to add a little bit of hot glue to that so the pipe cleaner doesn't scratch your door. Okay. And that's it. Let's see. Let's see if I need to fluff anything out. Looking cute. So this was a custom order. I do have an Etsy shop though. The link is in my bio, and I do have some fall swags still still in my shop. I have, I have a super cute sunflower one also. So this is the finished product, and this was just made on a 21-inch paint stick. That's it. All right, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. And like I said, my Etsy link is in my bio. So go give me a follow, type the like, follow me for more how-tos. I do little videos. Um, oh, hold on, that's probably not dry yet. I do little videos, um, how-to videos for all my swags, my wreaths, my bow. So come on over and craft with me. Thanks so much. I will see y'all next time.